of the GNR Ursula Show. Aaron Mason is filling in for Ursula. Thanks, thanks man. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming in all week. Appreciate it. Coming up in the 11 o'clock hour, we have a guest. And I don't know if I told you, I want an electric car, Aaron Mason. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I heard. We're bringing in someone. We got a question about electric cars. We're bringing in Keith Berry, writer and editor for Consumer Reports. He's going to be joining the show in the 11 o'clock hour, so we'll talk to him. Cool. But uh, right now, as we do every single time, I knew, I knew you'd miss this stuff, the scenarios. Mm, you know I do. <laughs> I need it. I need it in my life. Also, I have a lot Here of Here we questions. go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what, so what, so what's the scenario? My friend thinks I'm an ATM. Here's the deal. Mm. I have a really good friend. She's a woman. We are not romantic. And I don't think we ever will be. We hang out together, and sometimes either she or I will buy the other a gift or coffee or whatever. But it's not like we were in a relationship or dating. Two weeks ago, we went on a weekend ski trip together. It was kind of expensive with the flight and hotel and all. And there were a lot of details to arrange. So to make things easier, because I wanted the reward points as well, Expenses went all on my credit card. I paid for almost everything, just assuming she would pay me back for her half of the deal. When arriving home, I dropped her off and said, okay, see you later. And she leans into the window and says, hey, thanks a lot for everything. I really appreciate you picking up everything, including the tab this this weekend. This was never my intention. I can't afford to pay for both expenses. Clearly, she thought I was being nice. She thought it was a gift to a friend as a friend, but that wasn't the deal. What do I do now? State Roofing Text Line, it is 98973. Mace, what does he do in this situation? Crawl in a hole and never come out of it again. Listen, friends don't give, very rarely do friends give each other vacations as gifts. There are a few phrases here. That really stuck out to me. One is, I don't think we will ever be in regards to being like boyfriend, girlfriend, romantic, whatever. All right. You're you're on you're on sandy ground already, pal. (laughs) And then, oh, I assumed she would pay me back. If you don't have the money to cover a vacation and you don't discuss beforehand how you are going to divvy up the expenses, this is your fault, bro. Sorry, you messed up. You are into her. She's using you. This is a full-on sugar daddy situation, and you need to get yourself out of it. Chef, you're you're kind of, wait, hold on. You're ruthless, man. I'm telling you. I mean, this is clear as day to me. You're man. (laughs) You know what? I think you're kind of right, but I think he might have been willing to pay for the vacation if they'd become boyfriend and girlfriend on the vacation. Yes. And I think he might have had a little change of heart. Yes. That being said, you know what? All you got to do is just send over a text. Be like, hey, you blew me away with that. Like, I wasn't planning on covering everything. So I'm going to need you to pay me and just be ready for the fact that you're not going to see her again. (laughs) So even though I call it mean what you said, just your delivery. Your delivery is kind of. Sure. I had a little stank on it. You're not wrong. <laughs> you're you're a hundred percent right in everything you said, Mace. They get it. You got to charge this one to the game. You got to just suck it up. That's right. This is all on you. Mm-hmm. First of all, you decided to take this friend on a ski trip, like that in itself. Like friends don't take friends to ski trips. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Now I and I understand in the world that we live in, everybody wants the points. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I like the point. Mm-hmm, hey, mm-hmm. Mace, hey, man, go ahead and cash at me or Venmo me. Right. And then I'm going to go put it all on my credit card. Right. Okay, cool. I but got we you. just talked about but it we, beforehand. See how easy that was? But see, you didn't talk about it mm-hmm. beforehand. And mm-hmm. you should have talked about this one. As much as I would love to help you out, I don't think the G and Ursula show with Aaron Mason can help you on this one. Yeah. You can't mess up the friendship either because you did not say anything. You did not establish the rules on this. I got to say one more thing on this, and that is you got to be, like, perceptive of what people that you hang out with make. And if there's an income disparity, you got to do things that they can afford. That is correct. Otherwise, you're going to be put in this position every single time. This always comes up, like, mid-20s. You get out of college. Maybe one friend isn't making much money. The other one's making a ton. They want to go out to fancy places to get cocktails and stuff. You're like, yo— I want a PBR. I'm good. Right, right. You got to be conscious. He's right. And I, what, one more thing. Good, good point. Chef, you made something when you were talking about as far as 
if you would have become boyfriend and girlfriend after that trip, oh, yeah. something tells me you wouldn't have written in to the G Nursery Show. Oh, no. It would have been fine. It would have been fine. Mission accomplished. It was just planned the whole time. But I understand. You would have. Now you mad? You would you, <laughs> you went on a ski trip and nothing. Mm. The eleven o'clock hour comes up next. State Roofing loves to roof, even in the rainy season. And to enjoy a deck this summer, now's the time to get it done. Call today during State Roofing zero down, zero interest, zero payments for a year sale. State Roofing, call the man. It's time for spring cleaning, and your carpets are probably at the top of your to-do list. Luckily for you, my friends at Zero Res are celebrating their fifth birthday. They're off.